topographic map is a type of map that provides a detailed and accurate representation of cultural and natural features on the ground, as well as a quantitative representation of relief, usually using contour lines. This presentation focuses on the U.S. Topo Map Series produced by the United States Geological Survey, which consists of digital 7.5 minute 1 to 24,000 scale quadrangles in GeoPDF format. The presentation explains how to identify topographic features from the shape and spacing of contour lines. It also demonstrates how spot elevations are obtained through interpolation between contour lines and using the online viewer of the national map. This is the third of three RLOs developed on topographic maps, two related RLOs that provide introduction to U.S. topo maps and describe coordinate reading in greater detail are also available. An isorhythm is a line drawn on a map connecting points that have the same numerical value of some variable. Contour lines are isorhythms because they connect all points of equal elevation. The diagram shows both the map view and cross-section view of a narrow hill. The red lines in the map view are the contours. The contours were created from the intersection of the red parallel equally spaced horizontal planes with the green 3D hill surface in the cross-section view. These tracings were then projected orthogonally to the map surface which gives the contours. The vertical distance or elevation change between the parallel surfaces is the contour interval. Contour lines in U.S. topo maps are derived from the National Elevation Dataset, which is a seamless raster image dataset available at multiple resolutions, but with a minimum resolution of 30 meters. The lower part of the map collar provides information about the basic contour interval and vertical datum used for the contour lines. Contour intervals can vary between different U.S. topo quadrangles. For example, the Albuquerque East Quadrangle uses a 10 feet interval, while the Boulder Quadrangle uses a 40 feet interval. The U.S. topo map series attempts to make contour intervals consistent across regional areas. Thus, regions with steeper elevation changes, such as the Rocky Mountains, use larger contour intervals. Meanwhile, areas with gradual elevation changes, such as Florida, use smaller contour intervals. These examples demonstrate different contour intervals between two U.S. topo quadrangles. Each quadrangle has the standard scale of 1 to 24,000. While the elevation changes are drastically different between the two quadrangles, USGS is consistent in their cartographic representation of index contours. Every fifth contour line is an index contour, which means the contour is labeled with the elevation and bolder than the intermediate contours. Interpreting contour lines provides plenty of information about the topography of the area being mapped. If two maps have the same contour interval, then the horizontal spacing between contour lines will indicate the relative slope. The contour lines in figure A exhibit a uniform gentle slope. Likewise, the contour lines in figure B exhibit a uniform steep slope. When the topography does not have a uniform slope, the horizontal spacing of the contours at the top and bottom of the slope indicate the concavity of the surface. With narrow horizontal spacing at the highest terrain elevations and wider spacing at the lowest, the contour lines in figure C indicate a concave surface. Likewise, wide horizontal spacing at the top and narrow spacing at the bottom in figure D are indicative of a convex surface. Contour shape provides further information on terrain characteristics. The dashed line in the figure approximates the ridge line. Watercut stream valleys have crossing contours where the V-shaped contour points in the upslope direction as shown at point B. Ridges or spurs have crossing contours where the V-shaped contour points in the downslope direction as shown in point C. The relative roundness of the contours at point A reflects the form of the ridge. One of the limitations of contour lines is contour generalization. Since all contour lines have thickness, it is impossible for a contour line to reflect each elevation variation. Map scale plays a large role in how contours are generalized. The three figures on top show a comparison of contours for the same area in Glacier National Park at different map scales, with most detail shown in the left image. The two figures at the bottom show a magnified view of the upper 1 to 100,000 and 1 to 250,000 map at the 1 to 24,000 scale. The magnification clearly demonstrates the loss of detail and the generalization of contour lines that are necessary when producing small-scale maps such as a 1 to 100,000 or 1 to 250,000 map. Spot elevations are a method for providing additional detail on topographic maps. 
The X, which is circled in the left image, denotes a spot elevation of 275 feet. Most topographic maps use shading or hatching to denote a depression. This symbology helps quickly differentiate a depression from a hill. The U.S. Topo map series uses hatched contours as shown in the gray legend on the bottom right. The image on the top right of Oolitic, Indiana exhibits a multitude of depressions as indicated by the hatch contours. When a point lies in between two contour lines, linear interpolation is used to estimate its elevation. Linear interpolation is only possible under the assumption that the slope is constant between the two contours. To perform linear interpolation, the proportional distance from the point to the lowest contour must be measured. Then, the proportional distance is multiplied by the interval and added to the lowest elevation contour. In this example, point A lies 10 centimeters horizontally from the lowest contour elevation, which is 140 meters. There is a horizontal separation of 30 centimeters between the two contours. Thus, the proportional distance from A to the lowest elevation contour is one-third. Multiplying one-third by the contour interval of 10 meters gives an elevation difference of 3.3 meters. Adding 3.3 meters to the lowest contour elevation means that point A has an approximate elevation of 143.3 meters. Using the Albuquerque U.S. Topo Quadrangle, an exercise similar to the previous example can be undertaken. The proportional distance of P to the lowest elevation is a unitless fraction since the inches unit in the numerator and denominator cancel out. This proportional distance of 5 thirteenths is about 0.38. This value is multiplied by the contour interval of 10 feet, which gives 3.8 feet. This is added to the 5200 feet of the lower contour line, which gives an elevation of 5203.8 feet for point P. The National Elevation Data Set, also known as NED, is used as the basis for contour lines in U.S. topos. NED data are available nationally at resolutions of 1 arc second, corresponding to about 30 meters on the ground, and 1 third arc second, corresponding to about 10 meters on the ground. Some areas provide a coverage at a 3 meter resolution. The position of NED data is given through geographic coordinates in the North American Datum of 1983. All elevation values are in meters and are referenced to the North American vertical datum of 1988 over the conterminous United States. Since 2009, the primary data source for the NED is LIDAR. LIDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, is an excellent sensor for topographic elevation data capture, as the active sensor can penetrate tree canopy and capture features in shadowed areas. These two attributes give LiDAR an advantage over previous NED data capture techniques such as aerial photogrammetry. The accuracy of the NED directly impacts the products that are derived from its use. Accuracy can be evaluated by two metrics, relative accuracy and absolute accuracy. Relative accuracy is point-to-point -point vertical accuracy that measures local differences amongst adjacent elevation values. Relative accuracy is a measure of the random errors in the data set. During relative accuracy assessment of the NED, it was found that points within 90 meters of each other had submeter relative accuracy, which indicates a high degree of relative accuracy. Absolute accuracy analyzes how close elevations in the NED are to the true geodetic elevations. Absolute accuracy is a measure of both random and systematic errors in a data set. The overall absolute accuracy for the NED is approximately 2.5 meters. The national map comprises a variety of products and services that provide the nation with access to base geospatial information to describe the landscape of the United States and its territories. It allows online access to the National Elevation Dataset, which is the basis for contour lines in U.S. topo maps. The next slides show how spot elevations can be measured in the online map viewer of the national map, and how elevation data can be downloaded for further analysis in a geographic information system. Unless a point is located on a contour line, spot elevations cannot be directly read from U.S. topo maps. Through the national map viewer, spot elevations can be accessed anywhere on the map by using the spot elevation tool regardless of contour location. To download NED data from the National Map Viewer, the user must first select the Download Data button at the top right of the National Map Viewer. Next, the user must select the Click Here hyperlink under Download Options to define the user's area of interest. 
Then, the box beside Elevation must be selected. The user must then decide which Elevation data format to download. If using ArcGIS, a GeoTIFF, which is a georeferenced image file, or an ArcGrid format, which is used for raster calculations in ArcGIS, would be best. Using ArcGIS, two georeferenced National Elevation Dataset raster products of the University of Florida Gainesville campus are shown on the left with an aerial base map. The one-third arc-second raster grid on the bottom with a resolution of 10 meters has three times the resolution of the one arc-second raster grid with a 30 meter resolution on the top. The two raster grid images on the right-hand side show similar close-up areas of the map at the same scale. The raster on the bottom with the greater resolution is a much smoother raster grid than the one arc-second close-up on the top. The national map can supplement the U.S. topos through providing spot elevations. This is accomplished using the Spot Elevation tool to clarify terrain elevation in proximity of the area in question. In this example, spot elevations indicate that the lake is at an elevation of 5,354 feet and that the area to the east is slightly higher. The spot elevation labels and symbols will remain on the map until the map is cleared. These two figures illustrate that the U.S. Topo Map and National Map Viewer use the same elevation data source which is the National Elevation Data Set. This can be seen by the identical shape of contour lines displayed on the U.S. topo map to the left and the contour layer in the National Map Viewer to the right. There are numerous applications of the National Elevation Data Set that the U.S. Geological Survey promotes for maintaining this public resource. A few of these applications are listed on this slide. We conclude this presentation with a list of further online resources on digital elevation data.